A lot of these retailers should have actually gone bankrupt a long time ago. This is a systemic problem throughout all of retail. Two days ago, now there's a report that Barney's is exploring a possible bankruptcy because rent is being jacked up so high on, on their you know flagship retail store. This was actually what we were talking about, I think, on episode one where we were saying how a lot of these retailers should have actually gone bankrupt a long time ago, but because debt and, in, and the interest rates are so low and debt is so cheap, we think that it's actually propping up a lot of industries that should have had a lot of this kind of dead weight cleared out a long time ago, retail being one of them. Barney's is a great, who would have thought Barney's actually, of all the retailers, like I would have thought many other kind of lower end retailers, but this is kind of a shock to me. Yeah, it's a, retail's a tough business and you know, Barney's is a company that I don't think is uh, really capitalized on e-commerce the way a lot of others have, and partly because they have a very big in-store presence. I think you've seen a, a company, I think it's called, what, Harrods in uh, mm -hmm. the UK. They have yeah. their own big kind of store there um, as kind of the, the UK London equivalent. Um, and it, it's, it's a challenge for these companies to compete in an online world. If, you know, why, why go to the store? I can get it. Uh, delivered in two hours if I really need it. <laughs> yep. And they're saying, well, you know, our rent went from like 16 million to 30 million. I mean, but you, you, you would have seen that coming to me and just going up 15 more million dollars in rent. It's a pretty thin margin. It doesn't drive you into bankruptcy, right? There's other stuff falling, falling down um, and causing big issues for this company. They have, you know, dozens of stores um, so this isn't just this one thing that jacked up their rent. Oh, now we have to go bankrupt. No, this is a systemic problem throughout all of retail and Barney's or, or just this flagship store. I think that's a, um, a red herring that they're trying to just cast blame on this. The, the bigger problem is Amazon marketplace business models and retail just not being able to go into e-com and, and figuring out the e-com just isn't enough.